let's say you're a salesperson in a company and is looking to write cold outbound emails for specific prospects at a company. How do you go about doing this? You can do this easily inside of N10, but you will need the right tools to get this done. One tool that you can explore using is called Explorium, and they offer MCP tools to do extensive company research and find information about these potential prospects at these companies. What you see here in N10 is an example of a workflow that uses these tools to collect information about these companies. And the first step is to do the research. This research is done by Explorium MCP. It does some research on the company about a specific event. It could be any event. If you look at the company researcher system prompt, here we're asking the system to put together information about what the company does, what the recent event is, and the business ID, the business we're doing this research around, and so on and so forth. So lots of pieces of information that will be important for generating personalized cold outbound emails. So that's the first part. One of the important parts here is this Explorum MCP. We click on that. You can see here that I have already authenticated. I'm using this SSE endpoint, mcp.explorum.ai. And if you open an account today with Explorum, you will get some free credits where you can test this idea. So I'm going to be sharing the workflow here for you to go and test it out. You can create an account very really quickly here. So I'm using the available credits here. So I've been using some of the free credits, uh, but you can top up here as well. Here you get an API key. So this is for using the Experm API to get more information about prospects. And this is going to be useful as well to connect the Explorum MCP server. So that's the key that you need. And that's the one that we're using. If you want to get the API key, you can get it from here as well, or you can copy it from up here. And that's pretty much it. That's the integration right there. Something I want to call out here is the integrations. If you go to integrations, there's N10. And under N10, you will find a bunch of templates. We're actually using one of those templates, which is this one right here. So you can download the JSON, but I'll share the raw JSON as well and where you can get that workflow if you want to replicate this. So once you have this bear ad configured, this should be working and you should have access to those tools. So the company researcher is going to use this MCP tools and is going to use the language model to interact with the MCP tools and gather information about the company. So that's the research. And then from there, we're going to collect some prospect information from the company. That's basically just one API call. You can check out the details here with the API call. So it has more information about this. It has information about the business ID you can see there. And this doesn't change that much, but if you have information, for instance, about the job department that you're targeting, you can put information there about that and so on, right? So if you have like different job levels that you want to target as well, owner, CXO, VP, and so on, you would include that information here. Emails as well, if you want to collect that. So that's the second step, search information about prospects. And then we have these crossroads here. And what we're doing here is we're basically checking whether we get any matches, right? And if we do get matches, then we'll go to step four down here. Otherwise, we'll go to this step four where no prospects were found. And what this agent does is going to generate a general email. It won't be personalized because it doesn't have any information about those prospects. However, ideally, we want to find information about those prospects. This is why we're using all of these tools. If we find prospects, then what we can do is we can process the data about those prospects and then map it correctly. This is what these code nodes are doing. And then we do some enrichment. So the enrichment part is going to take care of enriching that information with more information about those prospects. And once we have that information, then it's possible then to write those personalized emails. You can see here in this part of the workflow, we have this email writer, so we can drill down a little bit in the email writer. If we go right here, you will see that you're a B2B outbound sales email generator. Your task is to write a short and effective call outbound email under 150 words to a specific prospect at a company. The prospect data is here. The company data is here. The event data that we initially use is here to do the research. And then this is just information about the company that we're pitching to these businesses. So in this case, I'm just going to use Explorum. That's what the example has. So I'm just going to use Explorum as the company information. So it just has some information about Explorum. So this is the actual product that we want to point to, which is the MCP Playground. There's a lot of capabilities there. And then just the output instructions, which is personalize the email, tailor the message. It's all about personalization. That's what we want. And we can afford to do that now because the Explorum MCP has returned that prospect information and all that enriched information as well that we can use to personalize the emails. So the workflow here is really powerful because it has the right data. We're only able to do that if we are using the right tools, which in this case is the Experm MCP.
recipe. What you see here is just an execution of this workflow. So it shows some examples about the outputs itself from these different workflows. So this is the output from the company researcher, right? More information about Gong, you know, they raised some money here. And then the prospect fetcher, right? Some information about the prospects. You can see more details about that here. Dong here, we have the enrichment part, the employee data. After that, we have this email generator that writes the emails based on those prospects and that enrich information. And then we just send that to Slack. So apparently we have like five different prospects that we have found. So we can verify that here five items. So those are five prospects. We're generating a personalized email for each one of them. And so after we have that, we'll send it to Slack. Then our team or anyone in the team or sales agent can then can look at these and revise these outbound emails and do the modification that they want. But hopefully it's personalized enough and then it's ready to be sent out. So this is a really powerful way on how to take advantage of the right context, of the right data to create really powerful workflows and in this case, generating personalized emails based on prospect data. Lastly, I wanted to show you here the email examples of what was sent to my Slack channel. So for instance, this one was for Emily. So this is something that a sales agent can then take and forward this email to that person in that company, right? You have the link as well, the MCP playground reference here in this email. Then we have one for Charlotte as well and so on, right? So different people with different emails that we have written for them. And these are all personalized emails. You can see different kinds and different formats as well. That's what I wanted to show in this video, how to quickly create powerful workflows that can help your sales agents to create more personalized outbound emails, potentially attracting customers to your specific services. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to see me explore further with N10 or the Explorum MCP and the different tools offered by Explorum. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.